question 33 this is from triangles prove that if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle intersecting the other two sides in distinct points then the other two sides are divided in the same ratio what is this essentially this is essentially basic proportionality theorem so this question has got two parts part one is proving the basic proportionality theorem basically we need to remember the proof as it is given in the book and complete it we'll do that right second part we are talking about something to do with trapezium and other things we'll come to that eventually let's finish the basic proportionality theorem proof take a triangle abc right triangle a b c drawing a line parallel to bc we'll call it as de to meet the other two sides at basically d and e prove that if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle intersecting the other two sides at distinct points then the other two sides are divided in the same ratio essentially we'll have to prove that ad by db is equal to ae by ec this is basic proportionality theorem we'll do it step by step first what we'll do is we'll look at triangle ade we're going to compute the area of triangle ade using ad as a base and ae as a base because therefore we can basically plug in these two parts the numerator parts of this left hand side and right hand side will be done we'll see how to go about it i'm going to drop essentially at altitude from d to ae we'll call it as df and i'm going to drop an altitude from e to this ad and we'll call it as eg so triangle ade we're going to compute the area of triangle ade ade using two bases the first base is half into ad therefore the corresponding altitude is going to be equal to eg area of the same triangle ade we're going to compute using base ae the basis ae altitude essentially becomes this for ae as the base altitude is df obviously area of triangle ade is equal to area of triangle ade these two are equal we're not going to equate that we're just keeping it aside now we're going to switch from here we're going to step three because we're going to do something slightly different is why i'm drawing this line i'm going to join this b now we're looking at triangle bde right i'm going to find out area of triangle bde right this is the part which is the second part i'm going to take db as the base so half into db so at some level if i divide three by one we got this ad by db and something else also hanging there area of a triangle is base into altitude for db as a base the opposite vertex is e the perpendicular drawn from this vertex to this side db is not going to fall within the segment db it's going to fall outside it's essentially eg so the altitude for base db of triangle bde is the same eg as we got in this case so this half into db into eg i'm going to draw one more line i'm going to draw this line cd so i'm going to find out one more area area of triangle cde area of triangle cde i'm going to take ec at some level i need this so half into ec as the base this is the base so to this ec the opposite vertex is d line drawn from this opposite vertex that's perpendicular to ec does not fall within ec it's actually your df right the opposite vertex is d from d a perpendicular basically becomes df before we do anything we'll just look at one important thing look at triangle bde right triangle bde we'll look at this triangle with a base as d base as d look at triangle cde right triangle cde now we we'll look at this triangle also using the same base this triangle can use de as a base so can this triangle use de as a base so both triangles have the same base are these two triangles formed within the same two parallels de and bc are parallel having the same base between the same two parallels will have the same area so area of triangle bde is equal to area of triangle cde so these two triangles have the same area so now we'll do 1 divided by 3 or 1 is to 3 is the ratio we are finding out as a fraction this is going to be area of triangle ade divided by area of triangle bde 
this is equal to half into ad into go back half into ad into eg this is half into db into eg so half into ad into eg divided by half into bd into eg half gets cancelled with half eg and eg get cancelled so this ratio of triangle ade by bde is equal to ad by bd let's find out the ratio of 2 is to 4 which is area of triangle ade divided by area of triangle cde this is equal to half into ae go back to see what it is half into ae into df is what we have divided by half into 4 is essentially ec into df half gets cancelled with half df gets cancelled with df this is ae by ec what do we have in the numerator area of triangle ade what do we have in the numerator area of triangle ade denominators of these two are basically areas of two different triangles area of triangle bde area of triangle cde but we established here that because ade and bde have the same base de and are in between the same parallels de and bc their areas are the same which essentially translates to the fact that this left hand side and this left hand side essentially are the same area of ade by bde is equal to area of ade divided by bde because uh, by cde because the areas of bde and cde are the same if the left hand sides are equal the right hand side should be equal translating to the fact that ad by bd ad by bd is equal to ae by ec I'm going to draw this diagram again and see whether that is what we wanted to prove. A, B, C. We have D, E, AD by BD or AD by DB is equal to AE by EC. So, we proved the basic proportionality theorem. So, out of the 5 marks, you got half the set of marks. 2 and half marks would be done with this. Part 2 of this question, another 2 and half marks. We'll use basic proportionality theorem to prove whatever is said. We'll see what is asked. Using the above theorem, using the basic proportionality theorem, prove that a line through the point of intersection of the diagonals and parallel to the base of the trapezium divides hold on hold on hold on we'll just draw a trapezium first what's a trapezium a trapezium is a quadrilateral which has one pair of opposite sides that are parallel right these two are parallel these two sides are not parallel just give them names to the vertices a b c d okay now what they're saying is essentially a line through the point of intersection of the diagonals. Let's do the diagonals first. We'll draw both the diagonals. Maybe not having both to prove it will be easier. But let's draw the diagonals. This is a point of intersection of the diagonals. We'll call it as O. A line through the point of intersection of the diagonals that's parallel to the base. So this line is parallel to the base passing through this O. Divides the non-parallel sides. These are the non-parallel sides. We'll say this line is equal to EF. Right. It divides it in the same ratio. AE by ED is equal to BF by FC, which is what we need to prove. To prove this, what I'm going to do is just to make life a little easier, I'm going to kill one of these, take away one of these diagonals. Right? A, B, C, D. We'll imagine where that point is. We'll note that point, but we're not going to draw this diagonal. So this is point O. Through this point O, we are having this EF drawn. So now I'm going to start with triangle ABD. Triangle ABD. These two lines are parallel because it's essentially properties of a trapezium. EF is parallel to the base, which means EF is parallel to DC, therefore it's parallel to AB. Triangle ABD. We have one side AB, a line parallel to that. Cutting the other two sides by BPT in this triangle, what we are going to get is AE by ED. AE by ED. Okay, one part done is equal to AE by ED is equal to BO by OD. Right. Now, this triangle is done. I'm going to look at triangle BDC right now. Right. Triangle BDC by BPT. Let's do the same thing. Right. These two lines are parallel. We have base as DC to that particular side. We are drawing a parallel OF that cuts through the other two sides by basic proportionality theorem. It's going to divide it in the same ratio. So this is essentially BO by OD. BO by OD is equal to BF 
by F C. Now compare one and two. A E by E D is equal to B O by O D. B O by O D is a part of the second thing that is equal to B F by F C. So we can equate all three. We can essentially say A E divided by E D is equal to B O by O D. But we know B O by O D is equal to B F by F C. So now we can equate these two alone. A E by E D. Is equal to B F by F C. Is that what we have to prove? E by E D is equal to B F by F C. So hence proved is what we have. Before you leave, I want you to do two things. One, sign up at online. dot maxtute. dot com to get started with C B C Class Ten Math Online Tuitions. It takes all of five minutes and less than three steps to get started. So get it done today. And second thing, I want you to subscribe to this channel if you already haven't. And turn on notifications so that you get notified every time a new video is uploaded. And also spread the word about this channel to your friends and classmates.